Hi there, I'm Andrea Garvey. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited about this class. It is going to be awesome. And uh, I think it's because there's so much story and even history now of this painting, Bird of Humanity, for me. And I wanna share some of that with you in the classroom. And I also want to um, really take you step by step and layer by layer on this journey of painting your bird of humanity. And for those who have not heard me talk about this story before, I first heard of the bird of humanity because I was listening to a podcast. I was driving around. I was listening to a podcast on um, Super Soul Sunday with Oprah Winfrey, who I love, love, love. And Lynn Twist was her guest. And I hadn't heard of Lynn Twist before. She's this beautiful, soulful, soft, spoken woman who is very passionate and she's a big activist. She's a fighter for women. She's really also an amazing financial uh, guru and really talks about abundance and being in the right mindset. So everything she was talking about, I was like, yes, I hear you. And so I wanted to do a little research on her. So I found this TED talk that she was doing I think it was on another sort of place that I could listen to in the car because I know I was in the car when I heard the story. So I was listening to her driving around and she was talking about this prophecy that she has renamed the Sophia Century. Okay, and so what she was talking about was that in the 21st century, there's this prophecy that the female wing and the male wing will balance out and they will basically soar. And so here's how the story goes. For centuries, the male wing of the bird of humanity has been super ag aggressive and even a little violent and very muscular. And it's been flapping, 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 flapping like crazy because the female wing has been calm and quiet, I wouldn't even say calm, just quiet, shy, not really speaking her voice, sort of just like limping along for centuries as the male wing has been flapping like crazy. And so therefore your bird is just, you know, always off balance. And that in the 21st century, so where we are now, the female wing will start to get stronger and get her voice heard and become more powerful and just amazing, beautiful, everything. And eventually what's gonna happen is your male and your female wing will balance out and they will soar. And I was listening to this story, you guys, and I totally like flipped my lid and pulled over and drew out a sketch on a piece of paper, like some receipt or something, and just had the whole entire vision of this painting literally in my head. And so I had to get it out on a piece of paper and I started working on it and it became this journey of this um, painting. And you know, the fact is that the female voice does need to be heard and the female voice is being stronger right now and we go through with the Me Too movement and things are happening in society and women are breaking through glass ceilings and it's amazing. So anyway, there's so much goodness and um, strength in this painting and we weave all of that through the class. So what are you gonna need for the class is a canvas, <laughs> obviously a canvas. And I did the large one. Uh, that's a gal that is actually a gallery wrap because the original is sold. But the big one was, I think it was on like almost four feet. It was really big and I have it, I had it above my sliding glass doors. So when you're creating your bird of humanity, think too like maybe you want to have it above a door or above a window. And I would look for a very horizontal canvas. So you just don't want to go. You don't wanna to go too deep, okay? Because you want those wings to go across. This is an eight by 24, and that's a great size, especially for your first one that you wanna create. I got them two on Amazon, really inexpensive. You know, it's not the best quality canvas, but it's fine for the classroom that I was doing, and it's fine for to practice. And, this is a shorter, in, like I would like them to be bigger, I think, but you know, I think it was like $25 for two. So, hey, I'm not complaining. So this is, you're gonna need a canvas. We're gonna be creating our painting with acrylic paints. 
we're going to be using acrylic inks. We're going to be using paint pens that I'm so excited about, even some stencils. There's a list in the classroom of all of the things that I use. I don't really expect you guys to go out and buy everything that's on that list at all. I just wanted you to know what I use. So look at your art supplies because if you have paint and you have a few stencils um, and you have paint pens, you're really all set. If you don't um, want to go out and buy acrylic inks, you can make your own. And there's a link in the classroom to how to make your own as well because it's a very it's a much more affordable option than buying some of them right now. I don't know, the, the inks are so expensive right now. Um, but I linked to everything in the class of all of the things that I use. And also there's a couple wax crayons or oil pastels we use in the beginning to do our writing. You could really use anything you want to do your writing. Uh, so look at the videos and see what you want to add to your supply collection if you um, want to do that. And the class is self-paced. You can take it whenever you want. It is yours forever. Let's see, there's probably about three and a half hours of video. I try to break them up so they're each an individual sort of layers. I think that's the best way to do it. And it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be so much fun. So if you have any questions, you can always email me, hello at andreagarby.com as you're going through the classroom. A couple little housekeeping things would be that when you go in and out of the class, I highly recommend you hit the resume course at the top. Sometimes that's a little link that gets hidden. And so when you go in and you come back out, you wanna do that. Oh, and the other thing is, if you're ever offline and you wanna take this class like on a trip or if you're camping, um, all the videos are downloadable, all right? So have fun, enjoy yourself. I can't wait to see all of your paintings and you can always share them in my Facebook community. I would love to see them and there's a link to that too. And I'm honored that you are taking this class and I'm so grateful to you. So I thank you for that and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.